Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Lauren. All right, you guys, hi. I have you guys zoomed a little bit further out than normal because today's video is going to be super chill. It's not like a tutorial, really. I don't think any of my videos are real like traditional style tutorials but this one's gonna be even more not tutorial you know what I'm saying I'm like kind of slanted I do apologize I'm still working with that wonky ring light it's so I'm so glad I did decide to just go ahead and order another one off Amazon because today I had like some issues getting the light to connect like it was like going in and out so I don't know so obviously from the video title from the intro we already know what today's video is going to be about just you know makeup that I purchased and may have used once or twice a few times some of it I haven't used at all so today we're going to pull it all out and we're going to play with it that sounded weird we're going to pull it out and play with it poor choice of words so I have already primed my face. I did use the Maybelline Master Prime. It does say that it blurs and minimizes your pores. I have, I've already applied it. It definitely reminds me, it has like a silicone-y texture. It for sure reminds me of like the, um, what is it called? The professional one, like that same texture and kind of like silicone-y feel only it is like completely clear where the professional ones kind of has like a creamy color to it it's like a I don't, you know <laughs> it's kind of like a whitish cream color this one is completely clear I like it it's not tacky at all so that kind of concerns me but it was very smooth it went on the skin really easy but um I don't there's like I said there's not a reason why I haven't used it this I've never used this I want to I don't if I have used it I don't remember it so its claims are that it visibly blurs imperfection and reduces the appearance of pores uh primes for smoother looking even skin white light lightweight non-oily formula I definitely agree with that um does not clog pores so yeah, I don't feel, it doesn't feel heavy. It's certainly lightweight. I would say that it does have like a mild blurring effect. Uh, I don't really have super enlarged pores anyway, but I don't know if I would agree that it reduces the appearance of pores. You can certainly still see the pores on my nose and like on my cheeks. But yeah, so that's that. For foundation, I, I purchased this a couple months back I guess maybe like right at the end of 2020 maybe moving into 2021 I kind of went on like a foundation shopping spree and I have some that I haven't tried yet and this is one of them it's the Maybelline dream satin liquid I typically really like Maybelline's products especially their face products um, I have this in shade 10 porcelain ivory I've never, I just, I just popped the plastic off today. I've never used this particular foundation from Maybelline. So oh, I'm hoping it's a good shade match. If not, it's fine. So this one says uh, it's supposed to be a foundation plus hydrating serum. So we'll see. We'll give it a go. I think I have a lot. It has like a, like a pump on it and like it rotates like, one way is locked, one way is like you can pump. That's cool, I guess. That way if it's in like your purse or in like a bag, you, you don't have to worry about like the pump getting pushed down and squirting everywhere. So it's a little hard to like, I can't get any more out. Well, this is as much as I could get out. Hopefully that's enough. It doesn't claim to be full coverage, does it? No, it doesn't have any coverage claims on the bottle. Okay, it's kind of thick. Has an intense makeup-y smell. It's a little yellow. You can't really tell on camera, but I have one of my hairs stuck in it. But it's a little yellow in person. But on camera, it does look like a really nice match. But y'all, the smell of it, there's for sure something, some, something smells. And I don't like it. I do feel like 
this foundation is really enhancing the texture of my skin and it's not can y'all see that right there i have like some acne scars going on because your girl is pmsing i know so i've got some acne going on and it's not covering up covering it up at all like it just looks like I have like purple dots underneath this foundation and that was not enough foundation for my entire face at all I haven't even touched my forehead so hopefully I can get some more out because that's just not gonna work for for me I like cannot there we go I was able to get some more out I, I feel like maybe this foundation is like too thick for the type of pump that they've decided to go with because Whenever it finally does come out, like a whole bunch comes out. And it kind of feels, you know like where you're pumping lotion and you can kind of like feel it coming out? That's how that feels. I feel like that's not, I feel like it's like the component is the problem. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan of this foundation. I know on the viewfinder, uh, right now how I'm seeing it in the viewfinder, it looks fine. Like there's nothing that really to complain about if you're just looking at the viewfinder but in person my face looks really dry which is ironic because it claims to have a hydrating serum inside of it which I'm not getting that at all my face looks really textured coverage is like none I can see all of my beauty marks all of my moles all of this acne right here I mean none of it is covered I don't know this is just not for me for concealer I know everyone get upset real quick you know let it out let it go it's gonna be okay for concealer I do have the Jeffree Star I don't even know what the concealer is like called um, does it say on here maybe but I can't read it it's so small but it's, it's the Jeffree Star concealer I purchased this a very long time ago probably almost two years ago now so I don't even know if it's safe to use but um, I don't like this product it has nothing to do with Jeffree Star and who he is as like a person and all the controversy that surrounds him I get all of that I'm just a small beauty youtuber don't come for me I do have a lot of Jeffree Star products that I do love I love his eyeshadow palettes I love a lot of his lip products his lip liners top of the line I think like his color range and his lipsticks I think are great but that's not why we're here down here to talk about Jeffree Star but this concealer I purchased it it was one of the first things that I purchased from Jeffree Star um, and I bought like the color that everyone or the shade that like, everyone wants at least people who have my skin tone I got C5 which is like the shade that he uses and all this good stuff so I purchased it and I felt super cool about it and I have disliked it the, since the first time I used it I don't know if it's just the color isn't my color I don't like the consistency of it the smell doesn't bother me it smells like makeup um, but yeah I didn't I feel like it's gonna look really crazy with this foundation at least in person because the foundation is really orange and this is really light like it's like almost white it, it, and it kind of smells and it even kind of feels the consistency is very much so like paint and I think that's why I don't like it. I like more of a, th I like full coverage concealers, but I prefer like the e.l.f. one. That's, I love the camo concealer. I even like the Tarte one, even though that one is a little bit thicker in consistency. It doesn't feel drying. This one kind of, I feel like it's drying and it's just so thick. It's like paint. I just, I don't like it. So that's why this is in this because I, I guess it's not so much that I have forgotten about it, but it doesn't get use I should probably just toss it at this point but I do love the packaging I mean how cute is that it's like that's cute and I just find it like look look at how white <laughs> that makes me and I just find like it's not easy to blend I feel like it's just I don't know you see how it kind of makes my under eye at least in person I know these lights are so forgiving and kind to me but in person it almost makes because it's so bright it almost makes it look like my under eye in this area is like blue but it just it doesn't work for me and it's just kind of been forgotten about it sits in my concealer drawer and just sits there and sits there and sits there and I don't even I don't reach for it I don't think about it so it's for sure a forgotten product and for powder 
this is an, a product that I have used before and I have like mixed feelings about it. It's the Makeup Revolution Banana Light Baking Powder. I bought this whenever baking, at least for me, was like a new concept. So I probably have had this also for going on two years now. And I remember that I wasn't, whenever I first purchased this product, for me, like I said, baking was like a new concept. I'd never really done it before or heard of it before. Um, and so I bought it because I was like, oh, clearly this is what I need to purchase to bake with. It's in its name. And I really wasn't like familiar with the technique of baking. So I do remember that I wasn't crazy about the product, but not because of like the color, the texture, anything like that, but because I probably for sure <laughs> didn't know what I was doing. And I also, one thing I will mention, I also don't like how like it, there's not like a sifter or anything like that. It just is in this little container and this is like the cap. And so I have to like put my sponge, I mean, look at like the whole, like I have to, you know what I mean? Like, how am I gonna, so I wasn't super crazy about that. And so it's just has been sitting in my drawer for probably almost two years now. It is definitely a forgotten about product but now that I'm a little bit more comfortable with the baking process and yada 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 I'm like you know what I'm gonna pull it for this and see maybe my thoughts and opinions on it have changed I still don't like how small this freaking cap is like what am I gonna do with that uh, whoever designed this this I don't know they were not thinking okay Sorry, my camera cut off while I was applying powder and I was looking at my mirror, so I'm not sure what I said last. But I'm not hating this powder. I just hate the component. I mean, it's like so hard. I mean, it's just a little ridiculous. I don't know. Like, I wouldn't use it again because it's not easy to use. I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it, no. Okay, before I complete the rest of my face, I am going to go in with eyeshadow just in case. I've never used this brand before. I purchased these eyeshadows also, gosh, probably going on two years now. I've had them forever. And I don't know. I just, I got it in the mail. And COVID had just kind of sprung. Um, I had just had a baby. And I don't know. Playing with makeup just wasn't like, it was still important to me and I still... You know, it's still an interest of mine, obviously, but I just didn't really have the time, I guess. I just, I purchased it because I had heard a lot of good things about the brand, about the performance, about, you know, all the good things. And so I wanted to give it a try. And it came in the mail and, you know, life just was happening really, really fast. There was a lot going on in the world and it just didn't, it never happened. Like, I never tried it. So today I'm going to try it. Um, and it is an, an eyeshadow palette that I th think I created online with Makeup Geek. So I guess, like, yeah, I so they came in singles and then I just, like, popped them in, I think is how that, how that happened, I think. Or maybe I created it online and then it came to me already put together. I think that's what it was. But yeah, so I know Makeup Geek is owned by a woman I forget her name I'm so sorry who used to be a youtuber and then she created her own like an OG youtuber and then she created her own brand and it's called makeup geek and here we are okay so I'm just gonna go in using the morphe m330 I'm gonna grab there's no names and I I bought this two years ago so I don't remember what the shades are but I'm gonna go in with this little color right here. I'm just gonna use that as a crease transition shade. Okay, these colors have a lot of kickback, but that's okay. I heard that they perform really nicely, so I guess that's all that matters. Oh shoot, it's super pigmented, holy moly. Okay, let me diffuse that a little bit. Um, I am experiencing minimal, minimal fallout, but I did dig in there pretty deep. And um, I didn't realize they were going to be so pigmented. I have heard from other influencers um, and just like reviews online that the color payoff of these shadows are phenomenal. So I guess I should have been a little less heavy handed. And that blended out. I mean, I'm done. That blended out beautifully. Okay. 
I'm just looking for a brush. I don't know what brush I'm going to use. So for my lid, I think I'm going to go in with this like bluey shade right here. I don't know what it's called, so we'll just call it the bluey shade. I'm going to do this a little bit lighter than I did the brown because, whoa, that's their pigmented. I think this blue, it's like, it's like a bluish gray color. It's really pretty. So far, I'm really, really loving this eyeshadow. Like, really, really. So I think I'm going to deepen up this outer, outer bit. And I'm going to go in with this, like, this slightly darker brown. It looks a little terracotta-ish on camera. The lights kind of give it, like, a orangey hue. But in person, it doesn't look quite as orangey. But I'm sure, I'm sure it's got an undertone of orange. And I'm just using that same brush that, oh, me. I'm just using that same Morphe 330 brush to deepen up my outer corner. Just add a little bit more pigment in there. That's really pretty. Okay, I'm into it, you guys. I like that. Oh, I wish I would have pulled this out sooner. I always struggle to do this eye. I don't know... So that's going to be the eyes for now. I'm going to move on to the rest of my face. Okay, so for bronzer uh, slash contour, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Forever Sunkissed. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this product. Um, I actually really, really enjoy, for the most part, I have had some, I have had e.l.f. do me wrong a few times here recently. Um, but for the most part, I really, really enjoy and love e.l.f. products. Like I said, nothing's wrong with this product. This is... My issue with this is that it just isn't very pigmented. So I don't grab for it very often. You can't even really almost not tell me if I turn my light down. You can see. It just isn't very pigmented, you know? Oop, wrong way. So I don't particularly reach for it it's just for it to be called forever sun kissed i don't know you guys i just don't know so i'm gonna grab my is this the one i think maybe it's dirty i'm gonna grab just a little angled brush the one that i usually use is in my work makeup bag and it's downstairs and i'm just not gonna go get it sorry so i'm gonna use this one this is from the brand Firma. I'm pretty sure I got this in a, either an Ipsy or a BoxyCharm. I don't believe I purchased this. I do think that um, it's pretty. It just isn't very, it's just like super subtle, which is fine, which is fine. I don't, I don't dislike this at all. I have um, in the past reached for it. It's not like I'm like, oh, screw this product whatsoever. I do think that it's pretty. However, it's just so close to my skin tone that if I'm doing like a full, a full glam, you know, a full beat as they call it, um, it just kind of gets lost. Like it, you, you don't even know. It is picking up pretty nicely on the viewfinder. However, in person, it's extremely, ext I mean, even in the viewfinder, it's subtle, but it's even more subtle. Like if I turn my light down, you, it kind of disappears. Oh no, that's so strange. It doesn't. It looks way more pigmented in the viewfinder, like for real. I don't know if it's like the lighting or what, but in person it's not that like, oh wow. It actually looks really, really nice on the viewfinder. It's like tripping me out how dark it looks on the viewfinder and how like not dark it looks in person. It's, it's so crazy how like some products just really live their best life on camera. Just moving on to blush. I purchased this, I want to say, last summer, so summer 2020. Um, Alme came out with a whole new line, like the Healthy Hue, and this is their blush, one of their blushes. I have like a few of these. Um, I think they're all super, super beautiful. I mean, I have, I did see reviews on them a few times last year, and some people not very many because not very many people talk about Alme. I think Alme is probably one of those brands that's either for like more mature audiences, maybe, I don't know. But I think that they're like a drugstore brand that's kind of like really trying to stay afloat. You know, I think things like CoverGirl, Milani, Maybelline, um, 
e.l.f. Those brands are really the ones that are kind of like paving the way they're taking over, especially e.l.f. Even Hard Candy is making a comeback and I'm here for it. I'm going to go in with another of these Firma brush. I didn't realize this was from Firma too. I love this brush. This is my favorite blush brush. This is Firma 102. I use it for blush. I'm just going to tap in real quick. If you guys like this video, this type of like content or whatever, let let me know down below in the comments because I have uh, I have an embarrassing amount of makeup that I either have yet to use or I'm like I just forgot about you know forgotten makeup. I've got I've got a lot of it. So if you guys like this and just you know sit down and have a chit chat and um, I can just you know, use makeup that I've either never used or that I've very, that I've forgotten about. Um, let me know and I'll definitely do more videos like this. <sighs> okay, so moving on to highlight, you guys. Um, I purchased this through BoxyCharm. It's like a boxy add-on. I got an incredibly good deal on it and so, of course, I had to purchase it and then I never used it. I purchased this again over a year ago. It is from Zoeva. It is their Plazer highlight. It comes in this little box. It's like a trio. And you get three different highlights. And then inside the highlight trio, the different ones, it comes in this little thing. And then inside of it is different, like, duos. They're both sparkly, but I think one's supposed to be a blush and one's supposed to be a highlight. So this one is, this one is called Spice, Spice of Life. It's the one I just showed. It looks like this. Woohoo! And then we have Caramel Melange. I guess that's how you say that word. Caramel Melange. And the packaging is like so beautiful. And it looks like this. This is like, this is like what I need in my life. Oh my God. Yes. Ooh, this one's really pretty too. This one is called Coco Blend. Yeah, this is probably more suited for you, girl. Yeah, that's really beautiful. Okay, I think I'll use this one. I'm going to use... <sighs> I guess I'll use the dessert. It's probably more suited for my skin tone for sure. My battery light is flashing, so if it cuts off and there's like a weird break, I'm sorry. I'm going to let it used all of its juice. Oh, and my favorite highlighting brush is in my bag for work. Okay, then I'll go with my fan brush. My tried and true. I've had this literally all my life. Okay, I feel like these are going to be pigmented. Oh, wow. It's really, really pretty. It's not as blinding as what I thought, but it could be the brush. These fan brushes don't apply, in my opinion, don't apply highlighter like in a blinding kind of way but I it is letting me like build it up obviously that is really pretty Ooh, yeah that's what your girl is talking about oh and I knew I always kick myself after I do my makeup because I have these in in the box like on like my makeup table it's like been a decorative piece for the last almost two years <laughs> So I look at them every day. They're easily accessible, and I just never use them. I mean, I don't open them up and look at the, and like look at the pans every day, but I see the component every day because I use it. I mean, it's a really pretty box. I mean, I just have it sitting on my vanity. So I have no excuse, no real good reason why I've never used them. All right, you guys. So my camera did end up completely dying, or the battery died. So I went ahead and I finished like my under eye eyeshadow and I did put some lips on um it, they're not forgotten about products that's why I didn't film it but if you want to know I did use the ColourPop lippy pencil in shade Minuteman and I used the KVD like lip I don't know like stick thing I don't know what these are called but I used um the shade Rose Dust Oh, they, they're called lip crayons, so from KKW Beauty. Okay, so I'm going to show you, I have this new mascara. I, I think it's still considered a new mascara. I have seen, like, 
videos from other influencers that they're just not using this as well. I don't really remember when I purchased it. It's been a few months though for sure, so not as old as the other products, but it's not even opened yet. It's the CoverGirl Lash Blast Clean Volume Mascara, and I don't know why I haven't opened it up and used it. I, I don't know. I think in the video that I did of like drugstore, like new from the drugstore that I've picked up, I had also picked up another um, mascara that was just, I just tried that one instead, instead of this one. So it does, it does say that it's a clean formula and it's smudge proof volume. Uh, it's vegan, it's cruelty free, all the good stuff. We love that. So it's just, their Lash Blast isn't like a new, like that concept from them, like the Lash Blast mascara is not a new mascara, but what makes this new for them is that it's a different formula. It's the clean, vegan, cruelty-free, all that good stuff. So let me pop her open. And I really love the color. I think like this mint color, I think it's beautiful. Even like the wand bristles are mint. It's really, it's aesthetically pleasing. Okay. I like the mascara. I definitely agree that it's volumizing. It's definitely giving my lashes some length. So I agree with those claims. I really like this mascara. I know it's hard to kind of tell because my eyeshadow is really dark. Um, but this mascara is black, 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 black. I got the, well, I got the shade Pitch Black 795. Definitely black. Uh, you know, Sometimes whenever you hear clean beauty or not so much that it's vegan and cruelty free because there's a lot of great vegan and cruelty free makeup, but sometimes when you hear, oh, it's clean beauty, your mind immediately goes to it's not going to work as well as not clean beauty, but this is not the case. I already love the Lash Blast, like the wand that they use. I already know that I like that mascara. Um, this is a winner for me and it's not clumpy. It does add volume, it adds length. It didn't transfer, like the wand is super easy to use. It is just their normal wand, but I typically like, like, I don't know, I guess brush heads that are more like fibers than like the plastic spiky things. And this is like a plastic spiky one and it's not uncomfortable on the eye. It didn't irritate my eye. So um, if you're looking for a new clean mascara at a really, decent price point and this is covergirl so i may have spent like seven eight bucks on it um i definitely recommend it i think it's beautiful i wonder if it has a smell yeah i mean it smells like mascara kind of pinky smelling the thing doesn't stink doesn't smell good it smells like mascara all righty you guys and last but certainly not least my next forgotten about product is gonna be this Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. I don't know, and this is another item that sits on my vanity and I look at it every single day and I just never grab for it. And I don't really have a reason why. I mean, as you can see, I've only used like a teeny tiny bit and I've had it for many, 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 many months, maybe going on a year. I bought it whenever they first launched the Luminous Setting Spray. So however long ago that was is when I purchased it. And I don't know, I, I don't know. I don't like have an angst about or against um, luminous setting sprays. Mm, if I do buy a setting spray that adds like a, a, I don't know, like a a finish to my skin, I typically do lean towards mattifying ones. But my preference is are ones that don't add a finish to my skin at all, like. The, um, the Urban Decay All Nighter, it doesn't really mattify my face. I don't know if it claims to be mattifying, but I wouldn't really say that it mattifies my face, at least not mine. Um, it just, you know, sets my makeup. I really like the e.l.f. 24 hour one. I think that's a dupe for the setting spray from Urban Decay, the All Nighter one. Um, but yeah, I don't really lean towards luminous setting sprays. And perhaps that's why, especially during like the time that this came out, I think it was like the end of summer, beginning of fall of last year. So I, maybe that's why I didn't reach for it very much. But you know, with this new 
wave and makeup being like natural and dewy and your skin but better I think I'm gonna start reaching for this one more so I figured this video would be the perfect one to kind of bust it out I do not dislike this product every time I use it I think that it's great I like the mister on it I just I don't know I just don't really grab for it you know so I'm gonna go in I wish I would have done this before I did my lashes but whatever here we are Mm, the mist is so light, like you can't even really feel it going on your face. Is there on my, my mascara now? Mm. And I like the scent to it. It kind of has like a coconutty, like tropical-ish scent. There's absolutely, like I said, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this product. Every time that I do grab for it, I enjoy it. I just, I haven't used it in a coon's age. All right, you guys. Well, that concludes this video. I hope that you guys like the look. I I do like it. I don't hate it. I loved the eyeshadow. I loved the Alme. Do I? I feel like that's a weird word. Alme? Alme? Alme. I say Alme. I think I don't really say it very often, but I guess naturally I would say Alme. What a weird word. Anyways, I did like their blush. Um, the highlight from Zoeva also really, really loved. Definitely will be grabbing for that more often. Um, I'm definitely already thinking about ordering more Makeup Geek eyeshadows. They do, they're, they are singles. I think that maybe she sells palettes as well. I don't know, but from, from, from what I remember, it's like singles and they pop them in like a palette for you. But I don't know, I haven't visited the website in a really long time, so I can't recall. But I did like the the payoff of the eyeshadows. I mean, they're pigmented and they were super easy to blend. So I'm here for that. Um, the bronzer, I was pleasantly surprised how it showed up on camera. And I do like how it looks in person too. It's very subtle. It's kind of like a light makeup look. So I knew that I liked it. I just don't grab for it very often because of how unpigmented it is in person. The mascara, absolutely love putting this in my everyday drawer and I'm this is going to be a new favorite of mine. I really really like it. It's not drying on my eyes. It's not clumping on my lashes. It was really easy to use. The brush like the bristles don't bother me even though like they're the spiky plasticky ones not like the faux hairy ones. I don't know. So I, I really am happy with how this look turned out. I hate the foundation. My, my skin, the texture of my skin is like so dry. It's even like creasing around like my mouth area. It's just not, my, my complexion is not it today. It looks good in the viewfinder. It looks good on camera and that's all fine and dandy. But in person, I look dry even after using the luminous setting spray usually that can kind of like bring a look together if your skin is looking dry i don't think it it didn't do it didn't take it there for me um definitely i'm just going to toss that foundation out not only do i not like the texture or consistency of it like it's thick and it has a smell and it makes my skin look dry even though it claims to have a hydrating serum in it i think that's a load of bull to be honest i do not recommend it whatsoever but on top of that the little pump i mean you guys saw i mean i couldn't get more than two three pumps out at a time which is just for me drugstore or not there are way too many on point drugstore foundations for that to be an issue and if that was the only issue i'd be like okay well i got it dead i'll repurchase it but like the foundation itself i don't like and then on top of it the component is a pos done for me cut it um you guys already know i told you whenever i was using it i do not like the concealer it is the only concealer that i had for this video though however that's why i did use it because i was like okay well it is a forgotten about product so i'll throw it in there but i want to make sure that everyone is aware that i already knew i didn't like the product and that's why it doesn't get used I just keep it in my display um, because I think the packaging is beautiful. I know everyone feels some type of way depending on who you are about Jeffree Star and I get that. So I'll just, I'm not going to say anything more about that. I'm just going to leave it there. Oh, I almost forgot the primer. Uh, I don't know. I don't love it. I don't hate it. It's just kind of there. If I'm in a pinch and I need a primer, then I'll throw that one on. There was nothing wrong with it. Um, but I don't think that it like did anything for my skin. I don't think that it did anything for my makeup. 
that's for sure. Um, so, I mean, mm. All right, you guys, well, thank you so, so much for watching me today, for joining me with this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I do have more makeup that um, I either haven't used ever or uh, I haven't used in a really, really long time. Kind of like a shot my stash, forgotten makeup kind of thing. So if you guys like this kind of content, let a girl know down below, leave a comment, and I can definitely make more videos like this one. Um, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe and like this video if in fact you did like this video video. Uh, that really mean, would mean a lot to me. I would love to have you um, join my channel and watch um, more videos with me or watch more videos of me. Either way, <laughs> I love to hang out with you guys. I love to show you guys new products. Um, I am considering, heavy, heavy heavily considering um, throwing in some like lifestyle content, you know, um, you know, what's new at Target, maybe do some hauls, maybe do like shop my stash or like a declutter. I've got a lot of things that um, I want to do. So just let me know down below if that's something that you'd be interested in. Um, Cause I'm trying to like, I'm trying to branch out and grow my channel, you know, all those good things. So let me know what you guys want to see because I'll do it. I'm down for whatever. So let a girl know. All right. Well, I love you guys so, so much. And thank you guys once again for joining me today. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.